Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats, joined today by... Hi, I'm Lee. Uh, this is the third instalment of Lee's Lease Lolly Loot. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to explain it again, because I'm probably going to explain this in every single video. Um, Lee likes to buy... Affordable gear. Affordable gear. Lee, what have you brought over? Um, so I've brought over this multi-effects unit. Thing, uh, which is called, made by a company called Licato. Um, but I suppose I should explain really that you can, this is kind of a, a Chinese product which is branded by several companies. So, you, you, <laughs> okay, so OEM, <laughs> OEM yeah. sort of stuff. Okay, so where did you buy this? Uh, I got it for eBay. Okay, what is it? It's a Cube Baby. Yeah. Um, so it's a, it's a small multi effects preamp which contains um, preamp models. Um, a, a small smattering of effects. You've got chorus. I think you've got a phaser in there, and you've got delay, and then some cab IR hosting with a reverb. So, how much was this piece of took? <laughs> this was thirty-five pounds and eight pence. This is it's <laughs> unbelievable. So it's a multi-effects unit. Yeah. For thirty-five quid. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. <laughs> So what we're going to do in today's video is to see if probably the cheapest multi-effects unit on the market is any good. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. You've used this. I haven't used it yet. <coughs> yeah. Let's go through it. Okay. So you, you've got some IR hosting and you've got some cab models. I Hold on a second. So you, you can load IRs into it? You can, yeah. You can put your own in there, yeah. Have you put any in here? I haven't put my own in there. I thought I'd leave it stock as it is from the factory. Jeez, that's how... That is incredible. So 35 quid and it's got an IR loader in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty good. The the software that you use to load the IRs in is a bit kind of, it looks like it's been designed by a primary school <laughs> in, a, in, in a primary school project, you know. It's, <laughs> it probably has. It's not sophisticated at all, but uh, it works. You know, you have to make sure you put 48K ones in there. Okay. Yeah. That's all right. But yeah, apart from that, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure about some of the descriptions of the uh, the amp models that are in here. Okay, uh, what we need to do is throw that away. <laughs> throw that away. Okay. Because in, in my mind, if you can't get something to sound good yeah. without a manual, yeah. you might as well bin it. Yeah. Which, for 35 quid, we might be doing. Right. But let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay, so we go through some of the tone models on the amp. <laughs> Sounds all right. Yeah, it sounds okay. I mean, we have to maybe look at some of the IRs that are in here as well. We're only using one IR, of course, at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I take it it's all digital. Yeah, it is certainly. Okay, well let's let's keep that tone. Mm -hmm. Let's add some effects to it and see what we can get out of it. Yeah. Okay, so you got a reverb there. Yeah, you've got a bit of reverb. <laughs> 
okay so you can hear you can hear the the quality of the reverb or the lack of quality of the reverb but listen to the tail of it it sort of fizzes at the end <laughs> Okay, nice. Yeah. So we've got delay. Not much you can say about that, really, is it? A delay, it's delay, isn't it's, it? It's neither kind of brilliant or it's neither kind of brilliant or bad, is it? Really? Is it? <laughs> and are and are there different effects? So are there different reverbs and different yeah. delays? It's, so it's no. just one reverb, yeah. One delay. What you see is what you get. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. can you turn the game? Let's see what let's see what sort of game we can get out of it. Can you can you crank it up? <laughs> It's all right. Do you know what? I th I think if I, it's a bit noisy. Yeah. It's a bit noisy. So that would, at the volume that we've got it. Yeah. That would wind up the sound engineer definitely. But if you're at a gig and stuff goes down, yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, I think they've really emphasised the sort of practice, the home practice side of things as well, because there's um, um, a Bluetooth receiver in there. You can turn the Bluetooth receiver on, and you can link it to your phone, so you can stream music to your phone. Put some headphones in, and you can play along, play along to music. How? How for 35 quid? <laughs> okay, let's, let's have a listen to the other effects. So what have we got? What sort of modulation okay. stuff have we got? So, have we got any compressors or anything like that? No, there's no compressor in okay. here. Okay. Um, oh, and, and can you have multiple effects on at once? So yes, you can. You, the way in which it works is that you kind of program up a certain sound and then you save that sound. Right. Uh, and you can save basically up to three sounds for a live yep. gig, gig, as it were, one on each foot switch. Right, perfect. <laughs> it's sort of a phasery, sort of cheap sounding phaser. It's a fa it is, yeah, it's phasery flangery, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's quite, I think it's all right. It's a bit. Yeah, yeah. What else we got? And if you flick the modulation wheel the other way. You've got like a heavy chorus. If we go to a clean sound. Yeah. Is there a way of altering that effect, or is is, is no, it literally you, just like a yeah, level? You get you get very um, limited kind of adjustment okay. in this wheel. So we'll bring it all the way back. Let's have a. Sting will be after his 15p if you play that. He, he will definitely be after his 15. <laughs> he needs it. Um, what else we got? So we've got we've got chorus or phaser. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. Um, so those are your modulation effects, uh, and you've got your delay and your reverb, and that's it. That's your that's your whole that's your whole toolbox. Okay. So has it got a tuner? It has got a tuner. Yeah. This so, is unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> you hold down these two buttons here. Right. 
and it goes into tuner mode where the uh, the knobs across here to have got a corresponding letter to tell you which string you're tuning. So yeah, top so, left. And then the other the three buttons on the end, the middle one is when you're in tune. So that's flat, that's sharp, and the middle's in tune. It works. <laughs> You know, that sound is proper um, sort of 90s grunge, isn't it? Sound gone, pearl caps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. For, for, well, when I say it's awesome, for the money, it is absolutely fantastic. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I think for recording, I think you could probably um use some uh, you know eqs and compressors and things that you've got in modern day doors and, and make it sound pretty good um the only thing i wouldn't be so happy about is, is going out and gigging with it at a live gig i'm not too sure how those dirt sounds would translate yeah the yeah sure they'd probably get lost quite quickly yeah in, in a band mix live yeah um can we try something mm. can you turn off the delay and the reverb yeah and what i'm going to do i'm going to add in the delay and reverb that I use normally yeah. when I'm recording, which is on um, on my interface, my uh, Universal Audio Apollo. The sound of the amp on its own. Sorry, the sound of the pedal thing on its own. I tell you what, I think that's great. Well, we haven't we haven't even flicked around with the IRs. We've just like you know turned it on and yeah, and it's just stayed on that IR. Well, let's, uh, let's take a bit of reverb on. Yeah, and it sounds right, doesn't it? And let's put some um, nice delay on it. Awesome. Well, I think for 35 quid. Yeah, I think for 35 quid, if you wanted something to practice with at home with headphones and stream your music to it, um, you know, even like I said earlier, at a push, if you wanted to record with it and you were confident you knew what you're doing with EQ and compression in, you know, mixing music, you yep. could make it sound good on a recording. Um, live, jury's out, I think, how it would behave live. But let's, you know, it is 35 quid. And if you think about when you and I first started, we're of a similar age, I'm guessing. Mm. Um, when you and I first first started, what could you buy for 35 quid? Well, what could you buy that sounded any good? Yeah. I remember I remember those Zoom units coming out. Do you remember the, yeah. the square Zooms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but even they were quite expensive for the time, if I seem to remember. They were like 100 quid. Yeah. sort of 18 or 1900 quid was a lot of money 
well, it's probably the equivalent of 250 quid now yeah, or and and even there were things like the boss me5 i think which came yeah. out so you know 35 quid that is fantastic so i think it's got the studio rat stamp of approval wow there we go excellent for the money for, for the money the, anyway uh, really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul. I'm Lee. And we'll see you next time.